Hi, this is Keith from PharmacyTechStudy.com and in this video I'd like to show a little bit about basic algebra and using it to solve some of the math problems that you'll run into in the practice exams, mainly dealing with dilution and solution questions. So let's go ahead and look here on the whiteboard. We'll go over some of that. All right, so most everybody knows about proportions math, and it's a nice little shortcut to figure out things. For example, if you have uh, five milligrams of drug diluted into 100 milliliters, and you wanna find out how many milligrams would be in 17 milliliters, and uh, the way you do that is you multiply this way, these two together, which gives you 85, and then you divide 85 by 100, and then that gives you what was the unknown up here, which in this case would be 0.85. So there's 0.85 milligrams in 17 milliliters. And the reason this works, it's actually a shortcut to cross multiplying. And cross multiplying is actually the uh, the real algebra method. This is just a nice compact little shortcut. But if you were to cross multiply these two, what you would get is you cross multiply this way, which would be five times 17 equals, and then cross multiply this way, and as you remember, this before was unknown, so it would, would have been x 100 times x. So when you uh, do your um, multiplication here, you get 85 equals 100x. And to isolate this x, you would divide each side by 100. And uh, the reason you can do that is you can do anything to an equation as long as you do it to both sides. So anyway, you get x equals 0.85, which was the same answer we got up here. This is just the longer way to do it. But um, it's actually a good idea to learn how to do the algebra way because you're not always going to have such a simple task on a math problem. And so one formula that you want to remember for sure is C1 V1 equals C2 V2. And it's uh, an equation just like the last one, just a little bit different. And so let's say that we want to find out if uh, we took 1200 uh, milliliters of a 25% solution and we added 800 milliliters of water, um, what percentage would that equal? So the way we could do that is to draw an equation line and it would look like this. So you'd have 1200 times 0.25 plus and then we have 800 of water so that's 800 of 0, 0.00 equals 1200 plus 800 is 2000 so we know we're going to have 2000 milliliters but we don't know what so that's going to be our unknown or x Okay, so then we go ahead and do our multiplication. Uh, 1200 times 0 0.25 equals 300. 800 times 0 is 0, since anything times 0 is 0. So that's 0. And this is going to equal 2000x. And so there again, if we want to isolate this x, we need to divide this side 
by 2000. And so we'll go ahead and do that. And those cross each other out. And remember, if we do it on this side, we have to do it on this side. So we'll take that number over there, divide it by 2000. And what that gives us is 0.15, I think. Let's see. So we've got 300 divided by 2000. That's right, 0.15. So we have 15% is the answer. So that is how you work out a C1V1 equals C2V2 equation. And then another example where you'd want to use an equation is let's say that you have uh, alcohol formulas and uh, you have 2,000 milliliters of 55% and then you have 750 milliliters of 25 percent and then you have another 750 milliliters of a 15 percent and you want to know if you combine all of these together what is that going to equal so we're going to do this pretty much the same way there's just going to be more uh, things to add up and so 2,000 milliliters of 55% would be 2,000 times 0.55 plus 750 of 0.25 plus 750 of 0.15 equals, and actually over here, my whiteboard's not long enough, wide enough, but it would be 3,500x because we know our quantities aren't going to change. Our percentages will change, but our quantities are going to be the same because that's how much volume of liquid we'll have. So let's go ahead and do the math. 2,000 times 0.55 is 1,100. 750 times 0.25 is 187. 0.5 and then 750 times 0.15 is 112.5 and that all equals 3500x all right so if we add all of these together i believe that gives us 1400 and that's still going to equal 3500 X. Down here we want to isolate this X. So remember again we want to divide each side of the equation by 3500 since it's the coefficient of X. So when we divide 1400 by 3500 what we get is 0.4 or 40 percent. So we're going to have 3,500 milliliters of a 40% alcohol. And um, just to kind of show you why this works right here, let's say that um, we had 1,000 times X, and X was actually, we'll say, 2. Oops, that's going to look like an exponent. So we'll put down here, it's, it's, it, let's say X is 2. So if we were to add, or excuse me, multiply those together, that would be 2,000. And then remember, we're going to be dividing by the coefficient, which in that case was 1,000. So dividing by 1,000, 2,000 divided by 1,000 equals 2. That's where we find out what x is. I don't know if all that made sense or not. Sorry, I didn't have enough space on the whiteboard to show that better. but. Um, Either way, that is how you do that, and that's so if you have more than two factors that you're combining together, that's the algebraic way to do that. 
And then I just want to show one more example of another C1, V1 equals C2, V2. So um, similar to our first one, let's say we had 1,200 milliliters of a 25% solution. And then we're going to add to that 800 milliliters. But instead of being water, this time it's a 10% solution. And so over on this side, again, we have 1,200 plus 800, where we, which we got from these volumes here. But we don't know what the percentage is going to be, so that's our unknown. So we're basically just writing out what we know and solving for x. So over here, we know we're going to have 2,000 x. And then over here, 800 times 0.10 is 80. 1,200 times 0.25 is 300. So then what we got is 380 equals 2000 x dividing by 2000 so we can isolate this x because these are going to cancel and 380 divided by 2000 is 0.19 so x equals 0.19 so uh, adding these together would give us a 19% solution. All right, so that's kind of all I had for now. And hopefully that helps you to understand a little bit better. Um, I'm not a math teacher by any stretch. Uh, I'm just a pharmacy technician also. Um, and But I'm just trying to uh, guide you along if you need a little bit of help with basic algebra. All right, thanks for watching. and. If you've never been to pharmacytechstudy.com, there's a link just below this video. If you're on YouTube watching this, there's a link just below the video where you can click on it and it'll take you to the site and you can look at more math or do the practice exams uh, or look at any of the several hundred pages that we've got of study notes.